Hi, kids. Today, we will learn why and how animals are important for all of us. So let's start. Animals play a very important role in our lives. The surroundings in which animals live and grow is called environment. Kids, here we have a picture of environment where we have a lot of animals. And here is a picture of environment where there is no animal. Which picture do you like more? Yes, the picture with a variety of animals in it is more beautiful. Imagine that there is no animals now. No birds singing, no birds chirping, no honeybees, no fish in the lake or pond, no butterflies, no flowers, no dog, and no cat, and no hen. Our world would be empty that we all would not like at all. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. The animal kingdom is very large and there is a huge variety of animals. Some are very big, some very small, some colorful, some dull, some live on land, like a dog, cat, rat, lion, elephant, zebra, and just so many. Some live in water, like dolphins, whales, starfish, octopus, and just so many beautiful fishes. Some animals fly in the air and live in trees, like sparrows, parrots, and so many beautiful birds. Animals are very helpful to us. Let's see how animals help us. Farm animals like cows, buffaloes, goats, and camels give us milk. Camel milk is also used in some parts of the world. We eat the meat of many animals like cows, goats, and chickens. Animals like dogs, cats, and parrots may also be kept as pets in our homes. Do you know that the silken and woolen garments which you wear are also obtained from animals and not plants? Sheep and yaks give us wool while silk is obtained from a small insect called a silkworm. Honeybees Honeybees give us honey. A very good manure is made from animal dung. That is used to make the land more fertile for growing a variety of crops. Leather is obtained from dead animal skin. Ancient people used to cover their bodies using animal skin. A lot, many things are still made from leather, like jackets, fur caps, coats and gloves, and purses. All animals have different shapes and sizes and make our surroundings so beautiful. Birds and animals are our natural resources. We should try our best to protect them and see to it that they and their surroundings are not disturbed by anyone. Plants and animals are part of the environment and all living things depend on each other to live and grow. 
For example, plants gives animals oxygen to breathe. As plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen in the atmosphere. And animals gives carbon dioxide for plants to breathe. As they take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So there is a give and take relationship between plants and animals. Animals provide carbon dioxide to plants. Plants provide oxygen to animals. Animal dung makes a good manure for plants to grow. Bees and many birds help flowers spread their powder to make new plants. That is, they help in pollination. You will learn about pollination in your next higher grades. So kids, today we learned that our environment consists of a variety of animals. And they are very important for all of us. So we should love animals and take care of them. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.